Howdy. Good to see you. Very nice to see you. Popcorn balls. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Love these things. Oh, they're delicious. Caramel. Mm -hmm. I guess they're caramel. Doris, the lovely maybe. Miss Doris came through again. Does this go along with our motif for uh, the program? Actually, no. <laughs> Chickens eat corn, see, and that's why we have all that's this. It. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's it. We I, hate to tell. In them. actuality, what we did is we switched the programs on poor Doris and didn't tell her. Uh -huh. <laughs> so this kind of goes with either a previous or a following yeah. show. I'm we not sure which. We did corn last week. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> we do that occasionally just to keep things lively down here. We switch things around a little bit. So she can feel like she's actually running the show, which she really is. She came. And, she was shaking her fist at me down the hall a while ago. As I was and gonna... I mean, she's got all this delicious popcorn, and this is this wonderful. Now that she's just totally humiliated herself. This is pretty. Look at this. Mm -hmm. This is some real, honest to goodness corn. Now look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. That's Indian corn. Mm -hmm. it really is. It's purple and, and uh, yellow. And all sorts well, we of stuff in some. there. Well, we eat shucks. Mm -hmm. So it's got shucks on it. Oh, shucks. All right. What now? Dear sir, please send me your recipe for meatballs and uh, Sweden salad. It sounds like it would be very good for my party I'm going to have this year. I am sending <laughs> you an envelope, a self-address. Thank you. And that's from Louise Price in Benton, Virginia. Well, Louise, I hope you like it. Some lady in the bank laid me out about that very recipe today. <laughs> said it was the worst thing she ever ate in her life. So I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm just warning you. And, I'll stay out of bed. And then she shortchanged me. <laughs> <laughs> and she threatened to come and short sheet me at home. Well, Mary Driscoll of Roanoke, Virginia, oh, Mary writes occasionally, says, we watch you every Saturday you are on, and sometimes Saturdays you aren't. No, she didn't say that at all. We like all the fun and all the good things you're, you show us how to cook. Keep up the good work. Elizabeth, is that Elizabeth and Mary Driscoll? Mm -hmm. I believe that is. And uh, they're from right here in Roanoke, Virginia. Well, here's a, a great one from Lou Herndon in Bristol, Virginia. She said, Dear Lady and Larry, I just do not miss your show, period. You both are absolutely G-R-E-A-T. If for some reason I have to miss it on Saturday, I catch it at, uh, on Sunday. Most of the time, I watch it twice. Tell the old Biddy in Richmond if she wants to see something really bad, to tune in to the celebrity chef and leave your show alone. <laughs> and she goes on and on and on. And she says, as far as I'm concerned, you can drop your dish towel, eat out of the pot, spill things on the floor. I don't know of any cooks who don't. You can even scratch if you want to, and I don't mean the lottery as long as you are discreet about it. <laughs> oh, my heavens. My, my, my. Thank you. Dear Levin and Larry, I wish you would cook up some homemade biscuits. I'm sorry you even mentioned this. <laughs> because what you're about to explain uh, could be uh, from my kitchen. Every time I do it, the outside is harder than my driveway. I can't get the same consistency. I don't know if I'm using too much buttermilk or not enough lard or flour. Maybe it's my flour. And she mentions the name, ha ha. Maybe I need to use another name, it says here. I would appreciate it if you could help me, and I, I know my teeth would thank you, from uh, Andy Gilly of Ridgeway, Virginia. Well, I don't know. I'm not a good biscuit maker, so I can't tell you what you're I'm doing I'm not wrong. a great one either, but it could be your oven's too hot, and maybe you're turning it on to the temperature called for in the recipe, but your oven is out of calibration. Well, Lord, it is operating. As opposed to out of North Dakota. <laughs> which, which means that it is operating well outside the parameters mm -hmm. which have been set up for it. Oh, you've been going to some weather forecast. Go. All right, now, Ms. Uh, it looks we're, like we're, Frida H. 
Daisy, but it could be Dalton. It said she bumped into you at some program into me? with Edwin Newman. Oh. Has sent us these two fine spatulas, and we, we're <laughs> going, we appreciate it very much. You know, we all we can use all the help we can get because we have no budget for, for cooking stuff. These are gigantic spatulas. They're very large. They're very large spatulas. Very, very big spatulas. Big, big. Big. Thank you very much. We well, appreciate it. And, you know, we do need them because we keep breaking them down here. You know, Larry, I guess we ought to get over here to the kitchen and cook. I well, mean, that's what we're supposed to be I doing. I guess if I have to. I that's guess. why they give us the pittance that we get. <laughs> pittance. What are you cooking? I'm getting ready to do something called chicken salsa. Ooh. And it's, I tried it yesterday, and I got to tell you, it's a brand new one we just invented. And uh, I tried it, and it's good. And it's also very, very simple. Even you can do it. Well, how exciting. Uh-huh, it's true. Now, the first thing I'm going to do before I even get going very well is I'm going to take this whole chicken cut up, which is what you got to get. And I got a whole chicken cut up. I'm going to take it back here right now. I'm going to wash it thoroughly, and then I'm going to pat it dry. Pat, pat, pat. So that's going to take just a little bit of time. And so I just want everybody to know I'm going to do that. Otherwise, people will be throwing off on me that I didn't, you know, uh -huh. properly and uh, they do get upset prepare the chicken. Do it. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And so I'll see you later, alligator. And I'm doing a, a dish called healthy chicken. And a lot of people know, remember some years ago when I had to have bypass surgery, and people are always writing in, well, why don't you do something for us that have heart trouble? So this is one for all of you that have heart trouble because you can have everything in this dish without cholesterol and without worrying about being hurt. Uh, so I'm going to scrape some vegetables here. This is a basic stir-fried recipe and I've got a carrot. For those of you writing the recipe down as we go, you're going to need some boneless chicken breast. And there's my carrot is clean and here's my onion. And get all of this stuff peeled. We got right good pressure today. Oh, good. I'm feeling the pressure. Well, I'm so glad you're taking care of that over there. But you know, it is a good idea to wash your chicken and all of that before you start in on this stuff. Here's my onion that I've got to have in a little while. And I've got a stalk of celery of uh, broccoli. And I only need one for this recipe, so you don't have to have a whole lot of them. And a green pepper. And you know, just to reach inside the pepper and pull out the fibrous membrane and all the seeds. Oh, boy. Now, we're going to cut up this uh, carrot first because uh, the carrot is going to have to be parboiled. That means you're going to put it in to um, boiling water for several minutes to cook it just a tad before we do the stir fry. That way it won't break your teeth if you have dental trouble and some people do in this day and age. And I'll just slice this up real good. Well, while he's slicing, you go right ahead. I'm going to empty out some oil. Doris and I are trying to get rid of some excess bottles around the old shop. We have all of these partial bottles of this and that and the other. We've got a little bit of oil here, a little corn oil. This is a little corn oil. And we're going to Start that heating up right now, just enough to cover the bottom, all right? And what we're going to do while we're getting that heated up a little bit is we're going to take just a, a couple of garlic cloves and we're going to mince those things in this little mincer. And uh, now it's very important to keep your fingers out of there. Oh, ah. that's so awful when that happens, so keep your fingers out of there. So let me get a couple of these garlic cloves. Get them prepared and put in there, and then we're going to squish them out in that hot oil. And what we'll start doing is frying uh, these uh, just right on top of the stove. And while we're doing that, then we'll start getting our little batter, well, not really our batter, our, our flour put together for our chicken. And we're going to shake it in a shaking bag. So uh, we'll, well, get, we'll get shaken here in a minute. Time. Again, I'm going to leave you. Oh, I didn't realize this well, was a musical. Well, I thought maybe it'd be was nice. Was that from the sound of music? No, that was from oh. the sound of me cooking in the kitchen. No, I just thought it'd be nice to have a little frying music. Yeah, that was a and you real nice, sir. You didn't join me. No, Don't I, you remember I, frying time? I, I really oh, did. So anyway, just moving right along here <laughs> on this. and <laughs> I'm going to let him make a fool of himself. I'm not in the singing mood. I don't know what it is. I'm not in the singing mood today. I've been quite busy. Very harried. 
So anyway, I'm just getting a couple of the, where the chickens come from. Oh, 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 you know that is a good question. You know that is such a good question. People ask me that all the time, even during programs people ask me, yeah, where do chickens where come from? Wait well, a minute, I'm squishing my, I, ooh, well I we've got an answer for you about where chickens come from. Well, yes, we do. I'm so glad you asked. Yes. Because we'll if you them. hadn't, have, we'd have been in big trouble on this program. <laughs> Here we go right now as to where chickens come from. Now, those are your basic chickens. For your those Rhode of you Island that have Reds. never seen them all natural. In that's the all what a natural. chicken looks like with its clothes on. That's right. That's what it looks like before it's fried. Oh, that was a turkey. Oh, wow. Well, well, it goes to show what we know. Anyway, um, now here are two rather, well, who are those suspicious characters, Johnson? Johnson. Oh, no. Who, who are oh, these? that looks like some chicken of our rustlers. relatives from down in the country. Boy. Chicken rustlers. Yes, that's Larry, That's Daryl and his other brother, Daryl, I believe. Mm -hmm. And they're going in. Uh oh, look at this. This there looks they like are. they're up to no good. They're going into that chicken pen very quietly. Oh, look at them. <laughs> <laughs> they're on a the run. Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, it's go. frenetic run, in there. It's terrible. Run, chicken, run, chicken, run, run, run. <laughs> Well, they still got a leg to stand on. All oh, the feathers are flying. Look at that. It's, inc <laughs> it's incredible. And look, oh, I believe they have, bingo, they have come out with the chickens. And there they go. They do look rather suspicious. To it. Look at that. Look, that fat one just left the door I open. I beg your pardon. <laughs> Well, I didn't mean the to say fat that. fat one indeed. <laughs> I'll fat you upside the head, boy. Well, my, my, my. Okay, so there you have it. That's where chickens come from. We're so glad you asked. And that's where... Now, over here at... It's burning. At Control... Oh, it is. I thought it was something I was cooking. It's too hot. It's burning. Uh, over here at Control Central, I, am, I have cut up an onion, and I'm separating it into large sections. And there it is right there. That's all I'm going to do with that onion. That's the greatest plenty for this recipe. Now what we're doing is we're frying those, uh, that little bit of garlic cloves up. The others kind of fry it away. <laughs> well, that's what happens when you're watching chicken rustling. Sometimes things get away from you a little bit. That's all right. It won't hurt them. Let them burn. I don't care. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to take one of these bags. <laughs> and we're going to put it over Mr. Johnson's head. Oh, no! <laughs> and you know what happens after you stay you, under one of these for about 10 minutes. You thoughtless dog. No, I thought maybe we'd martinize your hair or whatever it was they used to call <laughs> that. <laughs> so we're going to take about a cup of flour, thereabouts, and a little bit of salt, thereabouts, and a little bit of pepper thereabouts. He's real nervous that you're not catching the signals. Mm -hmm. uh, so now, catching the signals. now just shake him. that up in there a little bit. Get it all shook up real good. It's all shook up. Uh -huh. See, I'm starting yeah. to sing now. I am. I'm starting to sing now. Now what we do is we take our parts, <laughs> well the chicken parts, and put them in here. And we're going to shake them around. Now put them in there and shake. Oh, oh, I guess you got to shake this. All right. Shake this around and get that stuff all over them real good. Oh, look at those chickens are fighting to get out of there. <laughs> Just like they were a minute ago. And now we're going to brown these things on the outside. Brown them quickly, brown them brownly. And then I'll show you how to do the rest <laughs> of it. And that's it. That's all we're going to do for right now. we got some salsa standing by. And I'll tell you what we'll do with that in just a little bit. I'm going to put a little more pepper on there because I love highly peppered chicken. Oh, I left out the biggest part. <laughs> Good heavens, how could I have missed that? It's as big as... <laughs> all right. Johnson, are, are you with us today? Oh, yeah. I'm just... You know, I don't want to confuse you over there. Not confusing if, if we'll me, look I'm over finished. Here, if we'll look over here, here is this fine 
Lawrence yes, frying pan. And I've got <laughs> some olive oil, which is uh, just great for your heart because it's got Didn't the... Didn't she used to go with... Uh-huh, uh Popeye. <laughs> and I'm using about two tablespoons full of olive oil in this dish. And we're going to let it heat up. And here are the vegetables that go in it. Now, what we're going to do right now is we're going to put all of the carrots over here into this boiling, fiery hot water so that they can cook just a little tad and not be too crunchy. And we'll just put those over there. And you do the hokey pokey, pokey and you shake it all about. Get over there. Ten minutes. I need more than that. All right. And huh. now I'm slicing up uh, this, this up. chicken breast. You remember chicken breast? Mm -mm. Good golly, Miss Molly. Everything's popping and spewing here. Mm -hmm. I'm a little nervous about it. Well, and with good reason. I'm cleaning my. Here we go nails. again, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to smell like garlic at another party. People have got so they know I'm around just by sniffing the air. And I don't want to hear anything about it from any of you. <laughs> and we always know he's coming. You can smell him down the hall. I intend to smell this way at the big party in a couple of weeks. Uh -huh. All right. Now, our oil is getting hot over here. And as soon as it's hot, we're gonna, the first thing we're going to add is the green peppers to this. Now, Johnson, what is it you're always telling people about browning the fried chicken on the edges? You always have a little something that yeah, you go round and round Yeah, just don't mess about. with it. Just don't mess with it. Put it in there and let it go for a while. Put it in there and leave and it alone. And that's what we're going to do right now. All right, now while you're doing that, I'm going to add my green pepper into this fiery hot oil and let it go first. Ooh. And you'll notice he's using the appropriate utensils for that silver stone that he's right. using or whatever that stuff is. Teflon, I think. Oh, is it? it? I thought uh -huh. it looks like silver stone to me. Well, yeah, I guess you're right. It does Teflon. It sort of looks a lot. And I'm continuing to thinly slice my chicken breast dish. And as I go, I'm trying to get rid of as much fat as I can because we don't need any of the fat. And once this dish gets going, it's going to get together real fast. Doris, I'm going to need the uh, strainer. Now don't strain yourself, Doris. Doris is a lot of fun. She'll laugh at anything, you know. Mm -hmm. Don't strain yourself. Oldest joke in the book. And if you'll not, I'm just tossing these like you would a salad in this hot olive oil. And now I'm going to add the onions to it. Onion. When you're doing a dish like this, you have to get everything ready before you go. Oh, this is beautiful. Mm -hmm. It is. Now, what I'm going to do is flip mine over. Yes, I would. Thank you. What I'm going to do is try to flip this over with the right utensils. Look at that. It's not getting nice mm -hmm. and brown on it, excuse me. I and another trick to frying the chicken to get it come out right is to let it stay until it gets thoroughly brown on one side. But you got to use a heavy pan. If you don't use a heavy pan, you're done for. Well, this has gotten quite nice. And in just a couple of minutes, I'll tell you what the final thing is. Now, these little specks on here uh, are, are the uh, garlic. And even if they're a little mm. done, you'll find that uh, You'll find that you they'll know, be they're fine. really bad. Don't worry about it. Well, they are not. No, they'll be all right. They'll, they'll be fine. We ready now to my, show them how this mess is done? My carrots have been cooked. Now I'm going to... There's my carrots, and I'm going to throw them in now. Mmm, mmm. Oh, oh and the trick is you got to have high heat and you got to keep everything moving. Now I'm going to put in the chicken. Woo, what was that? I don't know, something went whoomp. It worries me a little when things go whoomp around here. And you just have to keep moving this chicken around. 
maybe we could look at the recipes just a little bit and see what's going Chicken on. Chicken salsa, it's a simple one to do. You take a fryer cut up, you flour it with salt and pepper, uh, and then, uh, you know, the garlic cloves minced, which are fried a little bit in advance on top of the stove in the oil for frying. And you put that all in there and brown it on both sides. And then in a couple of seconds here, after you've got it browned on both sides, you'll add a large 16 ounce jar of salsa. I will actually be using two 16 ounce ones because I found the chicken so big, it takes that much. You can kind of play around with it. Do you, could I have a paper towel? Do you have mild or hot? I have mild. You're... Oh, and there's my, <laughs> the healthy chicken. Two chicken breasts, <laughs> sliced, a medium carrot, one bell pepper, one onion, one stalk of broccoli, two tablespoons of olive oil, one lemon. And we'll see what we're gonna do with the lemon in just a minute, and it is a really a healthy, healthy dish for you. And the chicken, incidentally, over high heat, cooks just almost immediately. It'll be cooked through in another minute or two. As soon as it gets a little more of the pink out of this, we'll throw in our last ingredient, which is the broccoli. All right, no while, salt. While you're waiting on that, now we have at this point got this to the point where it is now the chicken is now browned on both sides. And all you do at this point, and you can handle this, is just open up some salsa. Maybe you make your own. Maybe you just this is a, a, a medium mild, and just cover that. Bring it to a boil, which it automatically does anyway on that high heat, and then you bring it down to warm and cover it. And you will then cook it, uh, simmer it for about an hour, and that chicken will just get just real tender and delightful and the salsa on there, and that is a wonderful dish. And when you get finished with it, it looks like this. Yow! Very, very pretty. Oh, how awful. There are some pieces missing from this chicken. I must have eaten them last night. And I can tell you I oh. did, and they're real good. And that just simmers in there in those juices, and oh, it's fabulous. It really is. All right, now, Lair, let me quickly show everybody. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of tarragon over this dish. Ooh, anything with tarragon I love. I'm going to love this dish. And while I'm finishing it up here, I'm going to put the broccoli in now and toss it around. And the broccoli, I like it crunchy. You know, I love raw broccoli anyways. So I'm just gonna let this be just barely heated through. And where's good old Miss Witch? She's around here somewhere. Well, let's get the old girl in and see what she's got for us today. All right, here she comes. I can hear her. She just broke the sound barrier. Oh. Oh, just flew right well, past that tight shot. Maybe you could read the letter and while I'm put your nose out. finishing this up here. <laughs> Thank you. Come back when you've been vacuumed. Oh, a two pager. Oh, is that? <laughs> is this? Oh, this program is here's just a smart full of you surprises yeah, today. Yeah, yeah, dear boys. Please quit picking on the poor old staff people who work on your show with antique equipment and they're doing their best they can. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, they do. They do. And the reason they got antique equipment is because of the antique managers are out here. Anyway. <laughs> uh, here, read the, read the real letter. Did you hear so, how much I said during all of that? <laughs> hey, guys. Could you two sweetie pies show us two honey pies how to make some new pies? <laughs> Betty and Meg pie. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Brown crust Wyoming. Well, I want to tell you. Oh, anyway. Uh, right. Yes, yes, of course we could. Now, Larry, on my dish here, the last the piece of resistance uh -huh. is <laughs> we're going to squeeze the juice of a fine lemon oh. over here into this Ooh. dish. I don't want those lemon seeds well, in here. Well, too bad, you already got one in there. But it's gone now. And the, this Boy, is that's a, a pretty big, dish. juicy really lemon. Do you get this from the house of, well, never mind. No. Ooh, lemon juice everywhere. All right, oh, it let me toss wonderful. it and then we'll go over and try it out here. Now this doesn't have any of that MSG in it, does it? It has absolutely nothing bad in it. that makes me real nervous and I break out. 
Now, if I can find a pothole there. Oh, well, that's a great shot. <laughs> Well, excuse that, me, I've seen, seen it before. Now, I didn't mean it up. Yeah, you know, she did. off on anybody in the back. But, You've tried uh, to embarrass me for the last <laughs> time. I think he's taking his whole show very seriously today. I don't know what's wrong. 30 seconds. Well, who cares? Right. Well, I'll try this and I'll tell you how good it is. Oh, it's wonderful. Uh, oh, no. I, I'm, oh, that was a real good goodbye. Oh, this mm, mm, tasty. Mmm. This is wonderful. Mm -hmm.